Now, according to every chick book in America, a girl dreams of what her wedding is going to be like, the dress she's going to wear, how her hair is going to be, and even who the groom's going to be. Putting a chair with a jacket on it, or cutting a picture out of a magazine. Now, Rebecca never did stuff like that, but I am so glad to be a part of this picture perfect wedding that they've created. Now, I want to thank Rebecca and Oscar for this opportunity to be here and making this speech, even though, of course, I'm going to be the maid of honor. And I also want to thank all of you for being here to help celebrate this day. And I want to thank those who came and helped make this day so great, the bridesmaids, the groomsmen, the family. It's been a great day, and I'm so glad you've been a part of it. Now, my fondest memories of Rebecca start back when she was born. I remember I was so excited to be a big sister. I held her there in my arms. And I was like, this is cool. I mean, I'm a big sister. But then she got older. I had to share a room with her. She tattled on me. She wouldn't let me do the fun things I wanted to do because she wanted to do her own thing. But after a while, I started to realize how great it really was to have a sister, especially like moments like these. Now, even though I think I should be getting married first since I am an older sister, I'm okay with it because I'm very happy for both Oscar and Rebecca. I remember when she called me her freshman year in high school. She was like, so they looked by Oscar, but I'm not so sure. And I remember thinking, he looks like a great guy. He seems like a great guy. But she wasn't sold because that's not the type of guy she pictured herself with. But finally, she agreed. They went to homecoming together. They were even homecoming royalty in one of the following years. Their relationships just progressed so well along with that. I remember Oscar being such a great guy that he Skyped me during their proposal because I couldn't be home to witness it myself. And I remember thinking, he's just a real stand-up guy. This guy I can deal with. He's great. And I'd like to propose a toast to the happy couple. To quote George Eliot, What greater thing is there for two human souls than to feel that they are joined, to strengthen each other, to be at one with each other in silence and sequel, to Rebecca and Oscar.